Hello guys and welcome to my video. Today I wanted to do something a little different than just makeup. I wanted to do a video exclusively on hair. Um, since I have short hair now, I've been trying to work through different ways to style my hair because it's a little bit harder once your hair is pretty much collarbone length. Um, so I have come up with 10 different hairstyles that you can do with your short hair. Super easy, super quick. Um, so if you're interested in this video, go ahead and keep watching and we'll get started with the tutorial. So for the first hairstyle that we're going to do, it's just going to be messy big curls. So what we're going to do is just curl our hair. I'm going to split my hair in two. You want to take about one inch sections. And I'm going to take my barrel, wrap the hair around it, clamp it down, and just wait. Then we're just going to let it go. We're just going to let it sit there. Now that we're done with that bottom layer, we're just going to continue on doing the same thing for the rest of the hair. When we get to the bang area, I always just curl these away from the face. Since I like to have big full bangs, I'm just going to take all of this top hair and just bring it this way. And I'm just going to curl this like we have been. Most of the time, this is how I curl my hair to style it. Then what I'm going to do is take my Tresemme Perfectly Undone Sea Salt Spray and I'm just going to spritz this all around. We're just going to get more of a beachy vibe going with this. Then I'm just going to scrunch that in. Now that we have that all scrunched in, we have some beachy, big curls. So moving on to our next hairstyle, pretty much all I'm going to do is get into our crown. I'm going to, with my thumbs, starting here, starting in the forehead, I'm going to pull back. So taking a good amount of hair, all I'm going to do is make sure all of the hair is smooth back and I'm going to start twisting that hair into a bun. Once we get this last little bit here, I'm just going to tuck it in underneath with my thumb and then I'm just going to hair tie that. And then you end up with this little tiny little knot up here. So if you're more of a smaller top knot kind of person, then this is the end of the look. But you could always just play with it and just take it out. You know, just sort of fix it to how you please. Sometimes I'll even go in here. What I like to do is hold this and then pull out my hair here so that it gives me more of a poof. So for the next look, what we're going to do is part our hair down the middle or close to down the middle. 
when your hair is parted down the middle, all you want to do is take a section. I like to go above the brow, so pretty much wherever your temple is. I'll go back. So you're going to take that hair and you're going to wrap it around itself. These ends here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bobby pin these down. And then you just want to pull on it just a little bit. You don't want to go too hard because otherwise it's going to come out of its bobby pin. Now what we're going to do, leaving the hair parted down the middle, I'm going to take my hair here, same where we did the top knot in the crown. I want to pull my bangs out. So with our bangs out, what I'm going to do is start at the crown like we did for the top knot, go back. I'm going to pull out some sections here and I'm just going to bobby pin this there. What I'm going to do is part this the way I usually would, so pretty much like this. I'm going to take it all the way to the side here. And then what I'm going to do is leave a lot of my bangs out. So I'm going to leave pretty much all of these long pieces out. All I'm going to do is take my hair and I'm going to put it up. So you want to take your hair pretty loosely. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up. So once we get to the end, I'm actually just going to put that into a little bun. So the hair looks like that. And then I'm going to take these bangs. And I'm just going to curl them. And I'm going to pull some hair out. Now what we're going to do is an accent braid. So I like to keep my hair swooped on this side. What I'm going to do is take half the hair on this side. What I'm going to do is just a little French braid. So when you do a French braid, pretty much all you're going to do is take two sections. I'm going to do one side, take it over to the other, and you want to start in the back every time you do this. And I'm going to take this side, take it over to the other side. I'm going to take hair from here, take it over to the other side. So since we've gotten to like the tip of the ear, what I'm going to do now is just finish off the braid. And then what I'm going to do is pull this down a little bit because we are going to take all of these and we're just going to pull them out so that the braid gets bigger. So now what we're going to do is pull all of our hair back. Taking this crown area, I'm just going to tease this.
I'm gonna leave some hair, but I'm gonna take most of it and I'm just going to pull it into a ponytail. All right, so taking this hair here, this is the hair just pretty much above the ear. I'm gonna braid this. Once you can't braid any longer, I'm gonna take that hair, pull it up. All right, now that I have this other braid finished, what I'm gonna do is take it, and these ends here, I'm gonna tuck in underneath the other braid, making sure that we hide them, and then all I'm gonna do is bobby pin that. Now that we have the braided headband pinned in, I'm just gonna take down the rest of the hair, and just like that, we have a braided headband. And if you ever want to spruce up your hair without really having to do anything to it, you can just take a headband, put it on top, And that's one way that you can wear a headband like this. The other way, of course, we can take the headband, leave our bangs out, and we're just gonna We can also, of course, take the headband, put it up, and we have one of these now. Of course, one last one is that we can take our hair, pull our bangs out. So those are just a few examples of what we can do with a headband. So for one quick other look that we can do, you can just take your bangs you can just pin those back and give yourself a different kind of half updo. So what we're going to do for this next one is we're going to start close to the part. So I'm going to take it like this and we're going to do a double French braid. So to do a double French braid, what you do is take your hair into three parts or take a section into three parts and you're just going to braid regularly once. I'm going to take some hair from here, connect it with the part on the outer edge and then we're going to take that all and braid it regularly. But we're also going to take some hair from the back. All right, so I braided that braid until the ear, and then I just tied it there. So we're gonna do the same thing on this other side.
All right, so you can keep those hair ties in if you'd like or if you're gonna wear this out and about throughout the day. I took mine out just because I feel like they can stay by themselves like this. And what you can do with this hairstyle if you wanna spruce it up even more is take hair here in the front, pull it to the back and just bobby pin it there. And that way we have a half updo with a French braid accent. Because of all the hairstyles that I did, I'm gonna comb my hair out. What we're gonna do is comb our hair back and I'm gonna take this middle hair. All right, so I'm gonna pull this to the front and I'm gonna tie the rest of the hair back. All right, so we're gonna start with the front section. We're gonna take that into three parts and we're going to... <laughs> it looks super messy right now, but we're just gonna braid that. Grab some hair, braid that. Then what we're gonna do is take the rest of the hair and twirl it into a little bun. Since we lost a lot of that curl, I'm just gonna recurl my hair. Alright guys, and that is the end of the video. I hope you guys like these hairstyles. If you do, try them. Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see them. Um, and yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Thank you.